What's going on guys, this is Snoob603 and Fake Thriller, and welcome to another episode of our Battlefield 3 weapon reviews. Today, we're looking at the M5K. This gun is available for all classes, and is unlocked after completing the assignment called Hold the Trigger from the Close Quarters DLC, which is to finish in the top 5 on the scoreboard in a game of Gunmaster and get 100 kills of PDWs. A little bit of weapon info for you guys on the M5K, the country of origin is Germany. The magazine capacity is 20 rounds plus 1 in the chamber. The fire rate is 900 rounds per minute. The fire type is full auto and semi-auto. The reload time is 2.2 seconds with the bullet chambered, or 3 seconds if you run the magazine completely dry. The damage for the M5K is 20 hit points of damage per bullet at 8 meters, and trails down to a minimum of 12.5 hit points of damage per bullet at a maximum of 40 meters. The M5K is almost like a dumbed down version of the P90, given that they both have exceptionally high rates of fire and their recoil patterns are similar, but the M5K gets the shaft when it comes to magazine capacity. The M5K is truly a limited roll weapon, and its Achilles heel is a combination of an insanely high rate of fire and its small magazine capacity. Even with extended mags, you're only given 30 plus 1 rounds, and at 900 rounds per minute, you'll rip through it in the blink of an eye. To make the most of this gun, you really need to take advantage of its short range damage. Outside of its close range of 8 meters, your damage is almost halved, down to 12.5 hit points of damage, making this gun a pea shooter from 9 meters and further. Working flanking routes and getting on top of your enemies before you engage them, you'll have your best chance of getting quick kills without eating up too much ammo, giving you the best chance of taking down two enemies before running your magazine dry. If you attempt to take down anyone outside of 8 meters, unless you have absolute pinpoint never miss accuracy, you'll be extremely hard pressed to take down multiple enemies with a single magazine. I really feel that the M5K excels with a run and gun playstyle. If you're extremely mobile and can make yourself a difficult target to be taken down, then this gun will work well. Your mobility will buy you time to take advantage of the low reload times to get back into the fight with a full magazine. If you're more of a cover to cover type player, then I would not recommend the M5K. Again, it's very poor long range damage, high fire rate, and low magazine capacity takes this gun completely out of the long range game. My preferred attachments for the M5K are any red dot sight, extended mags, and the laser sight. Without the extended mags, I found that I had to rely on my secondary far too often to finish off enemies that I just couldn't land the last kill shot on. I'm going to give the M5K a 3 out of 5. It's certainly a gun to be reckoned with in extreme close quarters combat, but only if your aim is pretty good and you're highly mobile. But outside of the 8 meters, there's not much that this gun can do for you. The M5K draws immediate comparisons to the MP7 for obvious reasons. Both weapons have very similar statistics and work best with similar playstyles. The M5K features a bad combination of higher fire rate and low magazine capacity, and it's very easy to find yourself in an empty magazine and the enemy you are shooting still alive. However, a lot of bad aspects of the M5K can be lessened with the right attachments and proper decision making. First off, it's best to use the M5K as a flanking weapon, doing your best to engage the enemy from less than expected routes. This weapon, fittingly enough, excels at close quarters engagements. With a high fire rate and a quick reload time, it's easy to quickly dispatch enemies in one-on-one -on -one gunfights. The second thing you should do to make the M5K work best is pick a comfortable sidearm. When using the M5K, I prefer to run with the G18 so I can fast switch and spray bullets as fast as possible to take down a weakened opponent. Finally, I feel the M5K needs extended mags. The stock 20 round magazine is painfully low when you consider the fire rate. You'll have an empty magazine almost immediately after shooting. The extended mags boost your ammo count up to 30, making one-on-one -on -one engagements a little more comfortable and it even makes taking down more than one opponent possible. I prefer to top off the M5K with a red dot sight and a laser sight. I'm giving the M5K a 4 out of 5 stars. Its high fire rate and quick reload make it very powerful in close range, but it loses a star for its lack of versatility in the full size maps. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up another Shusty Bang Battlefield 3 weapon review. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Overall, the M5K has earned a 3.5 out of 5 stars. As always, we're interested to know what you guys think of this weapon, so leave us a comment letting us know what you would rate it. And if you guys could leave a rating on this video, we'd appreciate that too. Finally, if you're interested to see what we think of some of the other weapons in Battlefield 3, check the description for a link to our channel and a link to the entire playlist of our Battlefield 3 weapon review. Thanks for watching.